யூ ஆல் மை செல்ஃப் அன்பு கரிசி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் பிஜி டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் மேத்தமேட்டிக்ஸ் கேஎஸ்ஆர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் விமன் திருச்செங்கூர் டுடே ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு டேக் அபவுட் நியூமெரிக்கல் அனாலிசிஸ் வாட் இஸ் நியூமெரிக்கல் அனாலிசிஸ் ஃபார் சால்விங் எனி ப்ராப்ளம் இன் மேத்தமேட்டிக்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் டூ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் அப்ரோச்சஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் அனாலிட்டிக்கல் மெத்தட் செகண்ட் ஒன் இஸ் நியூமெரிக்கல் மெத்தட் வாட் இஸ் அனாலிட்டிக்கல் மெத்தட் It becomes highly difficult to solve more than order 4. For example, x power 7 plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Then we can solve transcendental equation in this method. For example, tan theta log x e power x. These drawbacks can be overcome by numerical methods. In this module, we are going to learn three types of numerical methods. First one is solution of algebraic equation. Second one is numerical integration third one is numerical differentiation now we are going to see that solution of algebraic equation in the method of successive approximation how to solve successive approximation method problems for following some steps first rewrite the equation f of x equal to 0 in the form of x equal to pi of x then we choose the initial approximation x naught then we have to find x1 equal to pi of x naught then find x2 equal to pi of x2, etc. In this method, we have to check modulus of pi dash of x less than 1. Then we have to see some example problems. Solve the equation x2 plus x square minus 1 equal to 0 or the, or the positive root by iteration method correct to 4 decimal places. The given equation is x cube plus x square minus 1 equal to 0. We take f of x equal to the given value x cube plus x square minus 1. Then we have to apply x equal to 0 in the given equation. So then we get f of 0 equal to minus 1. It is less than 0. Putting by x equal to 1 in the given equation, then we get f of 1 equal to plus 1. It is greater than 0. When we are applying the interval 0 and 1, we are getting the positive negative, val positive negative value. The root lies between 0 and 1. The given equation is x2 plus x square minus 1 equal to 0. Then we have to write x equal to 1 by square root of 1 plus x. The given equation general form is x equal to pi of x. Then we have to write pi of x equal to 1 by square root of 1 plus x. Then we have to check modulus in this method. We have to check modulus of pi dash of x value less than 1. The derivative of pi dash of x value is minus 1 by 2 into 1 plus x, the whole power 3 by 2. Then we are taking modulus on both sides. Then we are applying the interval point x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 in modulus of pi dash of x. Then we are applying x equal to 0 in 0 in modulus of pi dash of x. We are getting modulus of pi dash of 0 value is 1 by 2. Then we are applying x equal to 1 in pi dash of x. Then we are getting modulus of pi dash of 1 value is 1 by 4 into square root of 2. It is less than 1. So we verified the result modulus of pi dash of x. It is less than 1. The interval point is lying between 0 and 1 so we choose the initial approximation value so we need single initial approximation value but we always take in between the value 0 to 1 like 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 up to we are taking any value in the in between interval 0 comma 1 here i take x naught equal to 0 0.75 Putting by x equal to 0 0.75 in the above equation, x equal to 1 by square root of 1 plus x, then we are getting x1 equal to square root of 1 by x1 equal to 1 by square root of 1 plus 0 0.75, then we are getting 0 0.7593. Next we have to find x2. Again, how to find x2? Again, we substitute x1 equal to 0 0.7593 in the above equation, x equal to 1 by square root of 1 plus x. Then we are getting x2 value is 0 0.75465. Up to we are finding the two iteration value is getting same. 
here we are getting the 50 iteration and 60 iteration value is 0 0.75488. Here we have to correct four decimal points. The final answer is 0 0.7541. Thank you.